A high pressure is caused when a force is concentrated on a small area. So some examples of this happening are some hints on the side here. For example, the sharp edge of a knife will cut through some butter. So um, a sharp knife cuts through butter because the force is concentrated on a very small area the very small area of the knife blade that very sharp long edge creating a high pressure a high pressure. So what you need to remember is the way to explain this. Always phrase it by saying that the force is concentrated on a very small area creating a high pressure. Some other examples are stiletto heels. Stiletto. Now is it one L or two? I think it's one L. Stiletto heels. They're a problem for wooden floors and soft flooring. Why? Uh, because the weight of the person is concentrated on the very small area of the stiletto heel, creating a high pressure which can mark the wooden floor. So it's basically the same, it's the same explanation. The force is concentrated on a very small area, creating a high pressure. And the same thing with the drawing pin. A drawing pin can be pushed into a wall or a, a pin board because the force is concentrated on a very small area creating a very high pressure and that drives the, the pin and enables it to penetrate into the material. So what about the last question? Explain why Eskimos use snowshoes or Eskimos or anybody who is walking in snow would like some snowshoes. Well this is the opposite idea. So here are some snowshoes and the idea here is that, oh, let's write it here, snowshoes spread the force uh, over, that's a better word there, over a large area and that reduces, reducing the pressure. Snowshoes spread the force over a large area, reducing the pressure. It makes the pressure less, and therefore, and therefore, um, you don't sink into the snow. You don't sink into the snow, at least as easily. So that's the opposite argument. So if you can. If you can do the, the first one, because the force is concentrated on a very small area, creating a high pressure, then it's easy to look at the opposite situation. The snowshoes, for example, spread the force over a large area, reducing the pressure, and therefore you don't sink into the snow.